we do want to head to the Carolinas now where we're looking at South Carolina, Pleasant, Mount Pleasant, excuse me, and Folly Beach, uh, two areas that are still getting in on the rain as most of that moisture now works its way north across you. We do have flood alerts that are in place. So if you haven't just yet gotten out and maybe prepared, the rain is light compared to what we can see later today. So now will be that time, that short opportunity to go out and grab maybe some of the sandbags if you're uh, in areas along the coastline that could be dealing with the worst of the flooding. Here's some of those alerts that I talked about, a couple of flood watches that are in place as well as flood warnings across the state line from Florida into Georgia, where we'll see the heaviest of the rain start to aim in as we head through later today. Timing's gonna be everything for the Carolinas as well. From Savannah on north into Charleston, we're looking at this through about 30 Thursday, heaviest of the rain aiming between Savannah and Charleston. Upwards of 20 inches of rain locally could even see 30 inches of rain. That's what makes this an historic system as it pushes in. Winds are going to be peaking anywhere over 60 miles per hour. But with that being said, as this pushes on shore, we could see some significant storm surge across the region. So we'll watch for that in the days ahead as well.